Yeah, hello, my name is Christian Schulze. I'm working for MRE for the Advanced Technology and I would like to introduce you to our new Skyactiv X engine. Uh, we have already the knowledge about our Skyactiv G, which we introduced in 2012 with a very high compression ratio. And for Skyactiv X, we wanted to go even one step further. So we have now an even higher compression ratio of 16.3 to 1. In addition to this, we introduced this engine as a so-called lean burn engine. And that means we are using much, much more air compared to fuel than with a conventional gasoline engine. Two to three times more air. And this has a big advantage in terms of efficiency. Such a, a mixture, which is very lean, you cannot uh, directly ignite it by a spark plug anymore. So we had to find another way how we can do that. And so we compress this very lean mixture and with 16.3 to 1. Short below it would ignite by itself, but it's still safe. It will not ignite by itself. What we do then is we inject a very small amount of fuel into the center of the combustion chamber, and we have a spark plug, which then ignites this small amount of fuel, which is a little richer. This creates a pressure wave, and this pressure wave runs like a tsunami with the speed of sound through our cylinder and ignites everything. Whoa. This is a very, uh, very efficient way to combust this fuel. But of course, you can understand if we need so much air, we ha have a, a very open throttle. That means the engine aspirates very easily uh, this high amount of fuel, uh, gas and um, fuel. But we also need to support it in higher RPMs. And that's why we have here a compressor. This compressor is switched on at about around 3,000 RPM to support this big amount of air to get into the cylinder. And of course, uh, for the variation of power, we need to inject a second amount of fuel short before it ignites by itself in a very controlled manner. But then already the cylinder contents is very highly compressed, and that's why we need a super high compression uh, injection system, which you can see here, which really is resembles a diesel injection system. Um, then this engine is basically very much close to a conventional um, gasoline engine, the Skyactiv G, the base um, engine block is really similar. But as we have this different way of combusting this fuel, we need to control to avoid any kind of knocking, because it knows everyone, knocking would kill this engine. So we have thought about how can we control the status inside of the cylinder before and during the combustion, and this is possible by so-called real-time pressure sensors. So we are checking every cylinder in real time in the pressure propagation while we are compressing this fuel. Simply because sometimes we are in different altitudes, we have a different fuel quality, it is humid outside, all these factors have influence on the combustion. But with the help of a very intelligent and powerful engine ECU, we can monitor the pressure and we understand all the chemical um, processes inside and we can be sure we have the intended compression ignition. So all in all, as I said, the intelligence is basically not in the hardware. The intelligence is in how to control because each individual component which we have like the compressor or the high pressure injection system and so forth, they are existing technology. So there is uh, no need to uh, think about this engine as somehow fragile um, or difficult to maintain. It is basically just a very easy revving, a very efficient and powerful gasoline engine. 